We just got locked out of our motorhome. What are we gonna do? Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, hit the notification bell, and if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. So guys, here's a disclaimer. We are at a very active campground today. There are kids screaming, crying, yelling, so we do apologize in advance if there's some background noise. We're putting this video together because we thought it was really important to let you guys know what recently happened to us and how we got it resolved. So we thought this was really important. Uh, we recently got locked out of our motorhome and it wasn't really due to our fault. It was a malfunction on the part of the lock. So we have a Trimark door lock on our motorhome. It's a 2019 Newmar Base Star. What happened was we closed the door uh, both locks were unlocked. The door handle from the exterior would not release the latch. Therefore, the door would not open. Now, thankfully, uh, we had two things. Number one, it happened at home, right? So there was the dogs weren't in there. We had time to get uh, some access to a locksmith. The second thing we had was CoachNet. Now, we talked about CoachNet earlier in previous videos. This already helped us with a lockout. We are in no way affiliated with CoachNet. They don't pay us to do these videos, but we just think it's a really good service to have. It's a small yearly fee. It covers lockouts. If you run out of gas on road towing we've already used it twice this year so it's paid for itself and then some the first thing i tried to do was get the door open i could not get this thing open it would open up a little bit you know but not all the way so i called coachnet this happened around 7 p.m by the next morning since it was an emergency they already had a local locksmith that was headed to us they got to us around four o'clock the following day so we got 8 p.m one day, following day by 4 p.m., they were by us. And this is what the locksmith did. All right, so the locksmith, they had never unlocked one of these. Uh, they were really on the verge of giving up. Couple things, you can leave your slaughter windows unlocked. I don't recommend that. We don't do that because that's an access point for anybody to get in. But that is certainly an option if you don't trust your locks. You could leave a slaughter open. We didn't do that. What he did was he had these wedge tools as such. They stuck the wedge tool in the door banged it open to get a wedge. Then he stuck a chisel in there with a hammer and just banged away for probably a good 30 minutes. They were trying different things, screwdrivers, knives, all kinds of different tools. That finally worked. It got this thing unlocked. So here was the problem for us. There are three bolts that are here. These three bolts, I guess, hold this uh, locking mechanism in. These bolts were loose. We unloosened the bolts, took the bolts out, put blue Loctite, cranked them back down, it worked. The whole problem was it wouldn't release from the outside. Once they were able to get the door open, it worked from the inside. So once we tightened those bolts, tested it out, we've had no problems since. Okay, so what did we learn from this? Check those bolts. We never knew about that. Uh, apparently it's a problem because I put it in the forum and other people had the same exact problem. So once we got that door open, I kind of knew where to focus in on and that was it. Second thing we learned, we're gonna continue having CoachNet. We suggest getting some kind of roadside assistance. It doesn't have to be CoachNet, but it's well worth the price. It saved us a lot of headache. Third thing is I went out and purchased a uh, lockout vehicle lockout kit. And what it comes with is a couple wedges, other tools. It has some mnemonic wedges as well as plastic. And then it has a uh, tool that allows you to go in. It's kind of like a hook at the end. We will link that below. What I'll be doing on my off season and off time is practicing how to break into this motorhome. It happened once, probably gonna happen again. <laughs> and uh, if the dogs were in there, it would have been a real problem. So that's about it guys. We just thought this was really important to throw a short video together because I'm sure it's happened to other, at least uh, Baystar owners and motorhome owners, RV owners, so be it. In the comments below, let us know, have you ever gotten locked out of your motorhome? Not due to losing your key, but due to a malfunction in the lock. Let us know in the comments below. Also, we are looking to change this lockout. RV locks, if you are watching, please come out with a lock for this motorhome. Feel free to share this video. We find it useful. Think anybody may find this helpful. To the left of us, we're gonna put our RV DIY as well as our RV essential upgrades playlist. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.